Are you considering moving to San Diego, California and wondering where is the best place to live? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why Pacific Highlands Ranch might be a good choice for you. Stay tuned. Hi there, Lynette Jayswall here with Homes by Lynette and EXP Realty right here in sunny San Diego. And we're going to dive into just five of the many reasons I believe you may want to call Pacific Highlands Ranch home. Real quick though, if you haven't already, please make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell right next to that to get notified every single time I upload a video on this channel. Also, if you are looking to move to the area, I'm going to leave my contact information right down below in the description box. So feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call, or send me an email. If you're looking to learn more about the best places to live in San Diego. Okay, let's get started with these five reasons Pacific Highlands Ranch is such a great place to live. Location. Pacific Highlands Ranch is centrally located in San Diego's North County coastal community of Carmel Valley. The community is surrounded by over 1,300 acres of preserved natural habitat. The community on the north side borders the prestigious Fairbanks Ranch and Rancho Santa Fe, and to the south it borders Delmar Mesa, and to the east Torrey Highlands, and to the west Carmel Valley. It is conveniently located near the 56 freeway known as Ted Williams Parkway by the locals. It provides easy access to two of San Diego's major highways, the I-5 to the west and the I-15 to the east. Not only that, you're about five miles from some of San Diego's prettiest beaches. That would be the beaches of Del Mar and La Jolla. It is also just 20 minutes north of downtown and the San Diego airport. Basically, it is super convenient and within 20 to 25 miles of most places in San Diego County. Weather and climate. Well, everyone knows that San Diego has the best weather. Being that Pacific Highlands Ranch is situated somewhat close to the ocean, but yet a little inland, but not too far inland, we have perfect weather. It's not too hot like it can get inland, but it's also not too cool and overcast like it can be on the coast. It's basically 75 to 80 degrees year round. Occasionally, it can reach 85 to 90 degrees, in the summer months. Okay, so we do have a few cold days here and there where it drops to around 60 degrees and it can get pretty cool in the evenings during winter months with temps hovering in the low to mid 40s in the evenings. But this is usually only typical from about November, December to about March or April. It only rains a handful of days. And to be honest, when it does rain, it's welcome because it's so dry here. So other than these few extreme cold days a year, you could essentially wear shorts and flip-flops most days, even in the winter. Recreation. So when we're talking about outdoor activities and things to do, Pacific Highlands Ranch is perfectly situated for that. First of all, it is surrounded by many walking and biking trails and certainly caters to an active lifestyle. There are several community parks in the area as well as a bike track and a skateboard park. Most communities around Pacific Highlands Ranch are part of a homeowners association, giving residents access to pools, barbecue areas, and gyms. If you like to enjoy a nice leisurely bike ride, there's a nine mile bike path along the 56 that is good for all levels, but it is moderately trafficked, especially on the weekends. Just to the west, we've got the beaches of Del Mar, as well as the Torrey Pines Nature Reserve for hiking. Personally, I like to hike up the hill to the nature reserve and enjoy the breathtaking views and then make my way down to the beach and splash around with my kiddos. Moving on from there, we can't forget to point out the proximity of the renowned Torrey Pines Golf Course, home to the Farmers Open Golf Tournament that takes place every January. Nearby, just down the road from there, is the Torrey Pines Glider Port, perched on the cliffs above Black's Beach. This is one of those places that is a must-see, and natives like myself don't take advantage often enough of the spectacular views and relaxing atmosphere. And the best part is, it's free 
and it's kid friendly. You can literally make an afternoon of it and enjoy lunch at the cafe. And if you go on a Saturday, there's live music from local musicians. After lunch, you can follow one of the many paths down to the beach, but I have to caution you, although nudity is prohibited, it is still practiced here, mostly by men. So if you have children with you, it's probably best to avoid that walk. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even learn to fly at the glider port. Well, I could go on and on about all the different nearby recreational activities to do, but I'll save that for another video. Thriving community. First, I'll start with a little history about the area. This area was known as Rancho del Sol and was largely used as an agricultural space made up of tomato and strawberry farms, as well as plant nurseries prior to its urbanization. Then, in 1998, the city of San Diego approved the residential community of Pacific Highlands Ranch, and it first started being developed in the early 2000s. Today, the population is about 36,000 and continues to grow as more neighborhoods are being built. The projected population is about 44,000 once all homes are built out, which is expected to be around 2025. With an estimated median household income of $243,000, this affluent community is rated as one of the most desirable places to live in San Diego, given its urban feel and lending itself to an active lifestyle. Real estate. Pacific Highlands Ranch has been growing rapidly over the past several years and the majority of the community has been developed by party homes, with their newest communities being the Highlands and the Sendero Collection. Once these homes are built out, there's really only one more plot of land remaining to be developed in the area, and rumor has it that it will be an extension of the Highlands homes. This means that the homes built there will be quite similar to the Highlands homes currently being built. If you're interested in any of these new communities, I will discuss these in a separate video, so keep a lookout for those too. Anyhow, getting back to what's going on in the real estate market for Pacific Highlands Ranch. The average sales price has been steadily increasing over the past several years. Today, the average home price for a detached home in Pacific Highlands Ranch is $1.76 million and $880,000 for an attached home, such as a town home. But to be honest, there's not many of these that come on the market these days. There are some new row homes by Shea Homes that are coming soon and anticipated pricing will start in the $800,000 range according to their website. Pacific Highlands Ranch is a rapidly growing community that may be a good option for you and your family or an area that you may want to take a closer look at if you're considering relocating or moving to San Diego, California. Well, there you have it. If you're looking to move to the area, I absolutely love helping people. It's what I do every single day. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing or leave a comment below letting me know what other topics you'd like to see on this channel. Also, be sure to check out some of my other videos that I have on the channel to make sure that you are staying up to date with everything that you need to know about living in San Diego. With that being said, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope to see you soon in another video.